Now I hope you were able to get something pretty close to what I showed in the image. It doesn't have to be exact or anything like that, just something enough to give you good practice. I'm going to right click, go to 2D and sprites. And I'm just going to start with a hexagon flat top first. I'm just going to move this a bit over here. Now I'm going to use E for the rotate tool. I'm going to rotate it. So about there. Now R for the scale tool. I'm going to scale it up on that axis. And then just a little bit here. And R again for scale. We'll make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to change the color of this one to some kind of a greenish blue. I guess that's more of an aqua. I'm going to make another sprite here of a triangle. So R for scale. I'm going to scale this really pointy. Move that up a bit. We're going to make this one red. And now E for the rotate tool. And I'm going to rotate this one a little bit. Okay, I'm going to make another sprite. This time I'm going to make a circle. Okay, and I'm just going to scale this up. This time instead of using the R for the scale tool, I'm using T for the transform. Again, like I mentioned in the last video, there's multiple ways to do this, multiple tools. So however you did it is completely fine. Okay, and we're just gonna make this one purple. And now for our last one, I'm gonna go to 2D Sprite. I'm just gonna make a square. I'm gonna move that one over here. I'm going to use the sprite shape tool and we'll just make this as a square. Okay, and now we set this one to green. And now I didn't mention this in the last video, but in previous ones I did. It's a good habit to keep hitting control and S for the save key to make sure our scene saves. And remember, we have the little star here if we don't. So if I select this sprite, hit W for the move tool, and I move it a little bit, remember I get this star showing my scene's not saved. And if I hit Control S again, now it's saved, and that star goes away. Okay, so here's the layout of the sprites from the assignment in the last lesson. I hope you got something similar, and if not, just follow along, and as you get more practice, you're going to get it.